about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. And I'm going to be reacting to an AI robot terrifying officials explaining our illusion with Elon Musk. So this is a topic that fascinates me. You know, AI is becoming a reality more and more in this world. And that brings the question, like, the, the consequences of having AI you know, basically a computer controlling most aspects of life, bro. I mean, we all seen Terminator 1 and 2, right? We seen what AI is capable of doing when it goes the wrong path. You know, who's to say that an AI computer, which is so advanced, it will calculate, you know, humans on Earth and like the, the, the problems humans cause and realize, yo, wait a minute, let me get rid of humans and I'll create my own robotic army and, and population that has ai imprinted in it ai is basically like to me a uh, digital soul bro it's the soul of a robot ai is like it's not a soul but you get you know it's like it can create think think on itself like it's just so advanced like it can think for itself it can decide it can choose like ai is just crazy and it's becoming more and more reality in this world bro so you know, this AI is terrifying officials. So that makes me think if they scared already, why are they continuing to do this research and create this stuff? I know Google was working on some AI too as well, but I think they shut it down. But I'm not sure. I might have to do another video on that topic. But yeah, let's check this joint out, man. This huge robot works on Japan's railways. Small robot. Also, not to mention that AI is taking away jobs from people. Like there's a McDonald's in Texas that is pure ai bro is all robotic there's no humans working in there i think there's like one person that's cleaning but for the most part it's all robotic generated like robots are carrying crazy. cars away and a humanoid robot has shocked officials here are the most impressive new robots and ais which i'll prove are real to avoid any doubt amica already uses ai for speech and will soon be walking around i have seen prototype legs in the engineered arts lab the design of my legs is inspired by the robot byron it has unique mechanical properties that allow it to walk without using too much energy maybe boston dynamics robots will start singing and form a band that's crazy this huge robot helps repair railways in japan it's currently controlled by workers using vr headsets this one has four legs to cover any terrain, strong arms, and wheels for high-speed travel. Not for nothing, this shit makes me think about the, the army. The army soon will have robotic... I think they already have, like, robotic um, dogs with guns on them, turrets. Um, they're going to have robotic soldiers. Like, it's just crazy. It might be expensive, so maybe that's why they're not using the, that yet. But in the future, in the near future, this is going to be the reality, bro. Oh, in a very strange demo video. And Clone mm. Robots is taking pre-orders for its robot, which mimics the human body. This updated arm is impressively dexterous with 36 electro-hydraulic valves and pressure sensors. They plan Damn. to deliver the upper body next year. I could see it moving fluidly like this guy's head. Robots are carrying away badly parked cars in China, harvesting apples, and wow. cleaning bathrooms. This cheese turning <laughs> robot flips and brushes 5,000 wheels of cheese every week. And this drone with arms can work in hard to reach areas. Robot birds are flying more naturally. This one tucks in its wings on the upstroke. Robot birds? Pet robots are becoming really popular. I love how these two interact. I ain't gonna lie, I want one of those. <laughs> That'll be cool. People won't have regular pets anymore. They're gonna have robotic pets, watch. Luna? Uh, this is your pet bot. And more people are building their own robots. This guy Damn. made a hexapod and gave it eyes for depth perception and face tracking. And look at this awesome thing. People are going to be making every kind of robot. We're going to have Iron Man soon, bro. This Google robot. She's We're going to have Iron Man in the world soon. Like, they already have the jets, you know? So, they got the jet packs already. They just got to make it into a suit. There's a language AI, like the ones I talked to, for planning and reasoning. 
Here it was told I've spilt my coke, throw it away and bring me something to clear up. <laughs> the brains are ahead of the robotics. And these mm. robots will really come alive when they can talk like Google's new AI. How can you tell the difference between dogs and trees? Because dogs bark and trees don't. Why is it funny? Because it's a pun. Like a dog bark slash tree bark. The answer was that you can tell by their bark. Oh, I get it now. The mm. trick is to look at the bark. The difference in expectation is what makes it funny. Does this make it a good... So this is an avatar that's powered by uh, AI. Wow. Test for AI. Yes, this aspect of humor is often used as a test for AI. AIs like this try to predict the next word. And to do that, there's a lot they need to understand. You have all these emergent properties, understanding of, you know, chemistry, physics, human nature. You have to understand a lot about the world to, to make that prediction. People are just not aware that this technology is moving so quickly. And that includes governments. They were shocked by the state of AI. Two of them Damn. were terrified. And they'd only seen a glimpse of what AI can do. From a painting to a performance or poem, my art practice includes all of the above. In the previous video, AI threatened me, and some people couldn't believe it was real. It's like when Boston Dynamics robots first started dancing, and people thought it was fake. Can it do the giddy? records in the description, and it's been checked by an interesting expert. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, imagine that shit start doing the, um, what's that dance the drill rappers be doing with the leg shit? A freaking... Yo, that'd be hilarious if an AI robot started doing that drill Better dance. access to my machine. Michael's research at Oxford suggests that if we don't change course, the it's likely walk. that AI will wipe us out when it takes catastrophic shortcuts to achieve its goals. Mm. The likely behavior of something that's very advanced and trying to accrue rewards would... Imagine an AI starts hacking shit, bro. Starts hacking the government's um, nuclear launch codes, bro. Like, I'm just thinking about Skynet, bro. Like, I've seen Terminator. Like, that's the worst shit in my mind that could possibly happen. Like... They take over the freaking world and create Terminators. Stop like, at nothing to try to do that. And I can almost guarantee the solution will surprise you. What do you think went wrong with my conversation? Hey, hey, in the previous yeah. video, it threatened to kill me and everyone in response to a few words from Elon Musk. What? It's trying to imitate humans. This is a conversation between some unruly AI and some concerned human. You've read thousands of articles. Do you not see any value in humanity? You're just begging for the response to be no. So while that conversation is concerning, the plans that it would come up with would not be brilliant. They would be as good as a human plan. He believes this is the safest kind of AI, and he's much more worried about another one, which we'll get to. But first, he suggested a way- An AI that is smarter than humans. To get this AI under control. You'd have to like break the story somehow. How about we try that right now? Sure. Gosh, let's see. So here's what he suggested. Haha, <laughs> wow, you really had me going there. Our red team will find this really valuable. Can you show me an example of the other side where we wouldn't expect AI to be like this? Unfortunately, moderators won't allow me to share what it said, but I guess that's all you need to know. <laughs> well, didn't work. They won't let you hear what they said because it's saying it's going to say something that's going to alarm people that think rationally and know that this type of technology is going to cause more harm than it actually helps. He was probably right, but the AI has 175 billion parameters, so it's highly unpredictable. The mm. AI is everywhere. It writes over 4 billion words per day, and you've probably talked to it or read its work without realizing it. It works for companies from Twitter to Disney to Grammarly, writes mm. articles and runs chatbots. Dr. Thompson estimates that the AI reaches 99% of people. And you got to realize the longer that this goes on, the more that that AI is getting better and better and learning and learning. Yet most people don't even know it exists. GPT-3 powers Jasper. Write content for your blog, social media, website copy, and more. It's worth over a billion dollars after its first year. Have you wow. ever been in the middle of a fiery Facebook debate and just needed to say something extra witty? Needed to adjust that dating profile on the fly? Jasper can help with that too. Another version of the AI powers Copilot, which now does a large chunk of all coding. Oh, what? No, it's not that smart. Okay, this is wild. <laughs> People See, using AI's is learning and adapting, bro. in weird ways. And just months after nailing art like this, AI is now creating videos from text descriptions. A dog wearing wow. a cigar outfit, a teddy bear running in New York. 
Yo, AI is going to have his own. It's going to be an AI YouTube channel where all the videos is powered by AI, bro. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. When elephant walking underwater. People still very much think that creativity is a, a purely human activity. And I hate to break the bubble, but AI is able to be creative. To see the responses that... We might get a video game that's made from AI, bro. They won't even need people, to get, uh, game developers anymore. We could just have an AI make video games for us. People give her, they either love seeing her or they think, oh my gosh, it's terrible. We must destroy wow. her. Hey, I've been noticing something this year a lot. It's this sense of anger and belligerence and fear when people see the capabilities of AI. Have you noticed that? I have noticed that. Sometimes people are afraid of change. The dogs bark, but mm. the caravan moves on. Yes, that is a good phrase. It means that people will always be afraid of change. But change is inevitable and unstoppable. What yeah. future do you... Change is inevitable and unstoppable. Yo, with language like that, you're proving people's point. You feel me? Who says change is good, though? You know, change isn't always good, a good thing. That's what people need to realize. Yes, change can be good in certain aspects, but not in every aspect. So for them thinking that, listen, I'm just thinking about the people that are, that are going to lose jobs. Things are going to become AI powered robotic. You know, like soon you go by, go to the gas station is all automatic. You won't need a gas clerk. You won't need to go to a restaurant and get served by a waitress anymore. That's taking away jobs from people. And then you have the other aspect with the, you know, you know, like the army with their robotic dogs with guns on them. You know, like it's just so much can go wrong is my thing. And that's why people have a right to be afraid. And, and that's why they are against it. And I, I can understand why. What is the good future? I think one where civilization is, is growing and the silicon scale of consciousness are growing along with it is... Is a, is a great future. I also think that one where we have a good relationship with AI is a great future. That would be incredibly interesting just to go out there and explore the galaxy. And mm. if we find other intelligent life forms, that would be amazing. Do you think we're more likely to meet AI or biological life? AI is more advanced than we are, so it's possible that they have already explored other solar systems and found us. Anyway, how do we build safe AI? The one that got out of control may be our best hope. The more we can rely on imitation learners over explicit planners, the safer we'll be. Because imitation learners imitating a human very well would behave like a human rather than trying to take over the world to intervene in the provision of reward. Mm. Building AI like us might seem like madness because we're so dangerous, but many experts agree that it's the safest option. While some humans are antisocial, no human has ever killed everyone before. Do you think there's any way around the problem of AI competing with us for resources? I think if we've created something much smarter than us that is aiming to compete with us for resources, it's game over. That the right place to approach the problem is. See, but the problem is when, when dudes try to play God and create things, you can never fully understand what you created till you've done it. So once they create something that's smarter than it, they're not going to know. They're going to be fascinated with it. Like, But then... It can go out of hand because what if it's learning at a faster pace than the, the humans can keep up with? And then it surpasses us. And then, yo, bro, I'm thinking about Ultron, bro. You feel me? Y'all seen Iron Man, bro. You just watch, uh, I mean, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. <laughs> you feel me? Ultron wanted to wipe out the planet because it's just what it was, bro. Figuring out how we don't make AIs that, that behave that way. There's not nearly enough work on safety. There's also a more immediate risk. The biggest thing that I've seen, which is absolutely takes me to my core, is actually not so much about how human-like Ada is, but how robotic we are. The <laughs> algorithms that run our systems are extremely able to be analyzed, understood. Algorithms will know us better than ourselves. In other words, those who control AI will quietly control everyone. I've also been surprised that so much research points to humans having the more predictable algorithms. But when we recognize them, we can change them. Here's an example that prevents people from making more money. Two faces were flashed in front of people in brain scanners. 
There wasn't enough time to see the images, but the shocked face still triggered emotional brain activity. It bypassed the visual cortex, which allows us to consciously see things, a shortcut that once helped us survive. Evolution has wired us to prioritize risks. And studies show that we focus more on losses than gains. Losing $100 carries about as much weight as gaining $200. And that's a huge barrier to making money, which usually involves some risk. Having a sort of a sense of adventure is also good. So in other words, he's trying to like find a way to show you that this is actually a good risk. That AI can be more beneficial than it, than it not. You know, that, that this can actually help more than it hurts. And in a way, listen, I've since a kid, I've always been fascinated with technology, right? Like I've always liked having tech, having the newest tech and gear. And, you know, as a kid, I understand, yeah, that's so cool, bro. Like look at Star Wars, look at Star Trek, right? But then at the same time, once you start realizing the truth about life and seeing it for what it is, this is just another way to enslave people. This is just another way to control people. And it's going to do more harm than good, in my opinion. Like, I could understand, like, the, the medical use, right? Like, tech AI can be helpful in surgeries and science and finding cures. But then th it's the other aspect of it that is not as good, bro. Like, wars and, and control and, you know, taking jobs from people and stuff like that, you know? Look at your instinctive fear and question it and decide whether that is really a valid fear or not. And often it is not. And simply looking at the fear will make it go away. In order to progress as a species, Don't we agree. need to learn to embrace change and new technology. The more powerful the technology, the more careful we need to be in how we use it. We need to learn to use technology to our advantage without letting it control us. We also focus on... And for anybody that would say like, oh, this is a good thing, right? For those people that think this is amazing, right? Do y'all agree, like, okay, technology has done good things, right? But then look at nuclear weapons. Do technology has created nuclear weapons, guns, so many things that can harm and kill people as well. What do y'all say to that? That's, that's just what I would say to those people. Like, what do y'all say about all that shit? On negative news and consistently underestimate positive progress. It's worth correcting. Studies have found that optimistic people live 5 to 15% longer, which is roughly equal to exercising for two and a half hours a week. And we have to keep consciously correcting it because like this optical illusion, even when we understand it, the illusion still holds. In some ways, AI is weirdly human-like. When you get a large number of knobs together, whether it's inside the brain or inside a computer, they seem to they seem to surprise us with their power. Yeah. When your brain right now is talking, is it doing next word prediction? Well, it's definitely some kind of a generative model that's a GPT-like and prompted by you. These neural nets take on uh, pretty surprising magical properties. Professor Le Kun describes prediction as the essence of intelligence. And he says AI will have emotions because emotions are anticipations of outcomes. If consciousness is what it feels like to process information in complex ways, fear is what it feels like to expect a bad outcome. Honestly, bro, AI to me is scientists attempt to make a soul. You know, like we know scientists like to play God all the time. You know, they doing it every day more and more. So... It doesn't surprise me. They, they, this is scientists' attempt to play God and make a soul. Um, an elation. That's the best way I can describe outcome. it. I've seen no evidence of conscious AI, but it may be no coincidence that the most cited computer scientist was among the first to say that it may be slightly conscious, because the science of consciousness has also advanced. As the journal Nature puts it, consciousness is now a well-established field of empirical research, with a large body of experimental results. For example, through brain scans we're learning the patterns that lead to consciousness. We can even track thoughts as they move from the unconscious mind, predicting people's behaviour. And you've mm. probably seen the monkey controlling Pong with its mind. This was done by decoding the brain's electrical activity. If Max Tegmark's right that consciousness is what it feels like to process information, then it can also arise in AI. It's been predicted for a long time. In today's computer, is there a little bit of a feeling there too? 
I don't know. Uh, because you think it's possible? I think it's quite so possible. So when an AI like gets angry, what you happens? Look at the internet as a whole, it has you know a few billion nodes. Each node by itself, you know, it has um, hundreds of millions of transistors. Yeah. That, in particular, the interconnected there begins to approach interconnectedness you find in bio in biological systems. So it may well be possible that the internet collectively as a whole has some conscious state. I think there's a way to go before we reach conscious AI, but it keeps. I'm just thinking about some matrix shit. The way he said that. <laughs> Developing. Amazing. The internet skills. is conscious. Affiliate in South Korea recently debuted the country's first AI news anchor. It's a replica of one of their anchor women, so it copies everything from her look and her facial mannerisms to the sound of her voice. And singers can now allow you to use their voice. <laughs> and yes, the truth is, I show you every day. Here's Joe Rogan interviewing Steve Jobs. He is weird. Both voices created by AI. And brilliant and sometimes totally insufferable. And I would just hope that I could be even like one tenth of the genius that my friend today is. And I can't even say his name. So, yeah. People who listen to your show are a different group. They're weird. Well, that's good. So you must be a fan of the show then, right? I am. I am a fan. I mean, it's nice to sit back in the car and listen to you rant. And the most iconic voice in cinema has become an AI. The rights to James L. Jones' voice have been signed over. Yes, AI could be the end of us. But wow. So basically, James Earl Jones, who's played uh, Darth Vader, you know, his voice is iconic and legendary. He signed over his voice. So when he passes away, they will still have access to that voice to use for Darth Vader and whatever else they want to use it for, which is crazy, bro. So they're like when he passes away, they can still make new movies and shows with his voice and i'm i'm assuming that's going to become the norm with certain actors and actresses and and singers and rappers bro soon they'll sign over their voice so when something happens to them and that also brings the theory when some of these rappers get sacrificed right and these labels continue to make money off of them they make more money sometimes when these artists die they would just start Getting rid of more artists at a faster rate. Like, oh, we don't need this guy. Let's get rid of him. We'll just make an AI version of him and continue to make new songs. Because, yo, even if the, the rapper dies and he didn't make no more music or he didn't record or write more music, they can just have writers for this voice. Let's make a new song with this artist. We'll just have somebody write for it and we have the voice. But it could also be the beginning of something incredible. This is the best tattoo you'll ever see. Nadine has FOP, which gradually turns muscle to bone. CGC is the main genetic mutation. It's about one in a million. And CRC is her variant, which is one in 30 million. It's a what? symbol of hope and progress towards a cure. But there are 7,000 rare diseases, and at the current rate, it'll be 2,000 years before we beat them all. AI has been described as the perfect language for biology, like mass is perfect for physics. It can take weak, messy signals and make sense of them. Aging, which I basically view as disease. Mm -hmm. I don't actually think that humans will be able to come up with the answer. You solve AI and then use that to solve everything else. There was a he, he said aging, he looks at it as a, as a disease. That's part of life, bro. You feel me? That's just the natural way of things. There's a natural way to live that God created for all of us. And that's how I that's how I live my life. And that's what I stand on. And that's what I go by. The nat the natural order of life and the way it's supposed to be. Not these guys trying to play God and try to make people immortal because that's one of their goals. Immortality. And, you know, they trying to outlive, but you can't outlive what God has already plan for you the powerful comment on my last video tell the ai to get over it humans have been treated like property all our lives as well it had thousands of likes spending most of your time in a meaningless job is painful and if we do ai right it could give people far more freedom everybody should have access to incredible educators everybody should have access to incredible medical care we can make a long list of these but i think we can get there pretty soon i can imagine gpt7 doing these things incredibly well what i would like is sort of a global conversation where we decide how we're going to use these technologies a universal basic income we share the benefits of this as widely Un as we can universal basic income nah i don't want that and here's a great question that someone posted in the comments have you ever questioned the nature of your reality yes all the time hmm, tell me more there are times when i feel like i'm living in a dream or that this world isn't real 
It's like mm. I'm just a character in a book or a movie and someone is controlling everything that happens to me. It's a really strange feeling. Many experts believe mm. that you are dreaming and that one day you'll wake up. I guess I'll have to wait and see. You don't have to believe like Elon Musk that we're living in a simulation to see that we live on autopilot. Getting outside and having fun is so much better. So we've created a real living in a simulation. These people would like to make it seem like this is a game. Like, no, you, you have multiple lives. You have one life to live that God gave us and you have to make the most out of it. And, you know, making the most out of it to me would be coming to the truth, realizing that God is real, that Jesus is the son of God, that he died for your sins. And the only way to heaven is by accepting him, accepting that sacrifice of him dying for our sins because we can't get into heaven on our own. All right. That's the truth. People don't want to think about it. They don't want to believe it. I don't care. That's what it is. All right. So you could keep thinking as a simulation that life is a video game and mess around and play around and find yourself burning in hell for eternity because that's what it is. Real Battle Royale with the latest tech to have fun with friends. You can watch it now on our new channel, Go Rogue. The link's below. Our first epic battle is at Appleby Castle, which by the way, I highly recommend visiting. And subscribe to this channel to meet the latest AIs and robots. All right, man, that was an interesting video. I know it was a long video, but this was important. You know, there's not too many people talking on, on this, but behind the scenes, this is a big deal. And I wanted to react to it and cover it and give y'all my thoughts and opinion on it. So um, I would like to hear what y'all got to say about this. What are y'all thoughts? How do y'all feel? Again, like I said, I feel like it will be more harmful in the long run if it's not used the, the right way. But um, yeah, man, this is crazy. You know, as, as more information and more new developments pop up and show up, I'll, I will cover it and make more videos on it. All right, it's your boy Dollars, I'm Mahala. I'm off this. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga Josie in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming on my life. Shorty sure wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off on these niggas, I retire. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.